hey guys uh, welcome back to my channel uh, today we'll be talking about the lymphatic drainage of the lower limb lymphatic drainage is always an important area because uh, the carcinoma or some sort of infections all of them they spread through this lymphatics itself so let us get into the topic today okay this uh, lymphatics can be studied under two headings the lymph nodes and the lymphatics the lymph nodes firstly let me talk about the lymph nodes lymph nodes include the two categories the superficial lymph nodes and the deep lymph nodes the superficial lymph nodes only include superficial inguinal lymph nodes whereas the deep lymph nodes include deep inguinal lymph nodes popliteal lymph nodes and anterior tibial lymph nodes okay the superficial inguinal lymph nodes have been again classified into the horizontal members and the vertical members this horizontal is again classified into the medial members and the lateral members okay this is a simple flow chart uh, a brief review on the lymphatic drainage of the lower limb that to mainly about the lymph nodes now let us talk about the superficial lymph nodes which include the superficial inguinal lymph node okay uh, yeah um the superficial inguinal lymph node uh, consider this as the inguinal ligament okay just uh, for our convenience uh, uh, consider this as inguinal ligament anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle this uh, superficial inguinal lymph nodes they are the horizontal members firstly these are the horizontal lateral members these are the horizontal medial members okay horizontal lateral horizontal medial this horizontal lateral they will be receiving the afferents from the anterior abdominal wall below the umbilicus and the buttock region and the anterolateral aspect of the thigh these are the afferents and uh, these medial members will be receiving afferents so you if you see these are very close to the genital organs it receives the afferents from the perineum subcutaneous tissue in the anterior abdominal wall below the umbilicus in males include penis scrotum this penis also include the prepuce and in females it include vulva vagina and below the hymen and uh, uterine lymphatics uterine lymphatics so these are receiving afferents in this fashion now where are they going finally efferents uh, these efferents will go into the external iliac lymph nodes efferents go mostly into the external iliac lymph nodes few of it might some very few but mostly into the external iliac lymph node very few into the deep inguinal lymph nodes okay deep inguinal lymph nodes now uh, what about the vertical members see if you see this is the saphenous opening and uh, this is the femoral vein this is the great saphenous vein now uh, vertical members are present on the either sides of the terminal part of great saphenous vein on either sides of terminal part of great saphenous vein where it is getting afferents it is getting afferents from the skin superficial fascia of entire lower limb but there are some exceptions like the territory distributed with the small saphenous vein territory distributed with the small saphenous vein and the buttock region this buttock region is being drained into the lateral members of the horizontal group that is the reason why this is also being accepted from the 
vertical group so vertical group will receive afferents from the skin superficial fascia of the lower limb except the territory of the small saphenous vein and the buttock region okay if you see all of them see this is a horizontal one this is a vertical one both of them arranged in the form of a t-shaped structure a t-shaped structure this is all about the superficial lymph nodes uh, which mainly include the superficial inguinal lymph nodes the horizontal members and the vertical members okay now let us go into the deep lymph nodes the deep lymph nodes as you know before they include deep inguinal lymph nodes popliteal lymph nodes anterior tibial lymph nodes okay now uh, why are this as usual a diagram see this is the anterior superior iliac spine pubic tubercle inguinal ligament mm, this is the femoral vein this is the great saphenous vein uh, these are the deep inguinal lymph nodes first let us talk about the deep inguinal lymph nodes the deep inguinal lymph nodes are present on the medial side of the femoral vein this is a medial side this is a femoral vein present on the medial side of the femoral vein the proximal most one is present in the femoral canal is present in the femoral canal called the gland of clocket or the rosenmuller they receive the afferents from the superficial inguinal lymph nodes popliteal lymph nodes anterior tibial lymph nodes glans penis or clitoris and deep lymphatics of the lower limb and efferents they drain into the same external iliac lymph nodes okay external iliac lymph nodes these are the deep inguinal lymph nodes a part of deep lymph nodes of the lower limb now next the popliteal lymph nodes there's a popliteal lymph node is uh, here the lymph nodes are embedded in the popliteal pad of fat that will be receiving afferents from the small territory of this uh, small saphenous wing which include the lateral part of the foot lower posterior part of the leg and the um calcaneum region this is the territory of the small saphenous vein which is get uh, which uh, sends the afferents to this uh, popliteal lymph nodes and next uh, this is the anterior tibial lymph node which is present in the anterior upper part of the anterior tibial artery so upper anterior part of anterior tibial artery which receives afferents from the anterior compartment of the leg which receive afferents from anterior compartment of the left leg and that sends the efferents to the popliteal lymph nodes this popliteal lymph nodes send efferents to the deep inguinal lymph nodes this is the pathway okay this is all about the deep lymph nodes now uh, we have uh, talked about this lymph nodes and now coming to the lymphatics uh, coming to the lymphatics uh, lymphatics uh, they in, uh, they are grouped under same like superficial lymphatics and the deep lymphatics the superficial lymphatics they are uh, large in size as well as the number they are uh, they as the name suggests that they run in the superficial fascia they forms two streams namely the main stream which uh, follows the great saphenous vein that will finally go and drain into the lower vertical group lower vertical group of the superficial inguinal lymph nodes and the remaining stream will be following the small saphenous vein and finally go and drain into the popliteal lymph nodes which will go and drain into the deep inguinal lymph nodes now coming to the deep uh, lymphatics deep lymphatics are small in size as well as the number 
and uh, they drain all the structures that are present deep to the deep fascia so present very inner structures so it will be draining those structures they follow the blood vessels of the lower limb and they finally drain directly into the deep inguinal lymph nodes or either indirectly into the popliteal lymph nodes which later drain into the deep inguinal lymph nodes this is all about the lymphatics now coming to the clinical aspect clinical aspect include this elephantiasis elephantiasis as the name suggests the uh, hypertrophy of the organ that lead to the appearance of elephant like leg so which we have already learned in uh, plus two and all um, so this elephantiasis mainly uh, what, let us define this first the lymph vessels of the lower limb get blocked due to the filarial parasite called the ocraria bancrofti and uh, this causes the massive edema of the lower limb and causes hypertrophy to the skin and the subcutaneous tissue gives the appearance of an elephant leg hence so it is called elephantiasis later the lymphangitis lymphangitis inflammation of the lymph nodes or enlargement of the lymph nodes this is very commonly uh, the common uh, swelling could be seen in the inguinal region the reasons could be infection boils abscesses in the area of drainage uh, filariasis and the hodgkin disease and the hodgkin disease this is the clinical aspect about the lymphatic drainage of the lower limb okay guys thank you for watching my video if you like it please share it with your friends and you have been